I know you. It's Rob, isn't it? Yeah. Where you going? Home. You don't like me, do you? He's mugging you off, Trav. Are you? Are you mugging me off? What are you looking down for? Are you looking at my dick? Are you some sort of fucking faggot? No. What's in the bag, dickhead? Nothing. Are you too good to talk to me? Some big fucking college boy. That's <laughs> probably right. Fair enough, fair play. I mean, after all, I'm just some dirty fucking scumbag. Look at his face, he thinks you are, and all. I don't. <laughs> don't give me fucking attitude, or I'll tear your fucking face off. Alright, I won't. I'm not. I'm sorry. Please just leave it. Shut the fuck up, faggot. Hey. Empty his pockets. No, fuck off! What did you just say to me? Who the fuck do you think you're talking to? Who do you think you are? Bang him! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Get the fuck out of the way! Problem is, Mr. Carroll, he knows exactly what to do in these situations. Look, if you ask me, I don't doubt for a minute that he did it. But at the end of the day, with no evidence, it's his word against Robbie's, and he's provided plenty of witnesses to attest to his whereabouts at the time. This is not a joke. Look at his face, for Christ's sake. He's had his phone nicked and his wallet. Have you found those? He'd have blood on him the beating he dished out. As I said, he's known to the police. This isn't the first time this has happened. He's had enough time to go home, get a shower, change his clothes, and get rid of anything he stole. Added to the fact he has numerous people giving him an alibi, there's very little we can do. You might have had a bit more luck if you'd have turned up after I phoned you. This happened in the morning, but you weren't arrested until the evening. I understand your frustrations, but we're doing the best we can in the circumstances. Is Robbie willing to go ahead with the course of action we spoke about? I've spoken to Rick and he's agreed to it. I bet he fucking has. He's got away with it scot-free. You know he deals drugs on this estate as well. He's known to us. If you'd like to go ahead with restorative justice, we can arrange a meeting at the police station, or even here if you'd prefer. We can get both parties to sit down and come to an agreement to resolve this situation. And that way, if he breaks the terms again, we can go after him. So he's denying he did it, but he's willing to sit down and agree not to do it again? We've got very limited options. This is ridiculous. Gavin, maybe we should do it. At least that'll be the end of it. Robbie's scared he's going to be targeted now that we've had him arrested. If you're worried about the repercussions, this is the best option for you. Take a drink, please, Mr. Carroll. Yes, mate. Two, all right? That's great, thanks. Milk two sugars, please. Anyone else? Can I get a coffee, just milk cheers. Robbie? No, thanks. Right, I'll be back in a minute. Thank you for your cooperation, Mr. Carroll. That's the end of it. You shouldn't have any more trouble. I hope not. Anyway, I need to take him home, so take care now. If anything does happen, don't hesitate to contact. Yeah, sure. You take care now, Mr. Carroll. through with it, but there was nothing else we could do. I didn't want to fucking call the police in the first place. Don't talk to your mum like that, you little git. Robbie! What? Don't look at me like that. I did the right thing. Yes, but he's worried it won't be over, and he has to see them almost every day, doesn't he? It's not my fault they're useless, is it? Anyway, you heard what she said. That's the end of it. 
He's been beaten up and mugged. Don't shout at him. That's no reason for him to talk to you the way he does. I'm fed up with it. And you shouldn't put up with it, not with everything you do for him. Gavin, has that been there the entire time? What? Hi, mate. Trav's looking for you. All right, Rob. Yeah, good, thanks. You? Yeah, okay, I guess. Could be better. See, my mum's not very well. I'm supposed to be looking after her. I got arrested the other night. Sorry. So, I just wanted to ask you. Who the fuck do you think you are? What? Calling the pigs on me? Getting me arrested? You think that's funny? No, it isn't funny. My mum was worried sick. Having the police come round, searching my house. Taking me down the station. What's she ever done to you, eh? You made this personal now. My poor old mum. I can't just let this go now, can I? It wasn't me. My stepdad called him. I told him not to. <laughs> yeah, good old Gavin. Does he know his stepson's a prick? Or doesn't he care if he's banging that slut? No, no, no. I haven't finished with you yet. See, the boys... They think I should teach you a lesson. Now, I know we're not supposed to talk right now, but you won't tell anyone, will you? No. You promise? Because we live on the same estate. I'm going to see you around, aren't I? Yeah. I'm going to make your life a fucking nightmare. I'm going to see you every fucking day. I'm going to see you, I'm going to find you, I'm going to fucking torture you. Fuck with me and my family, and this is what happens. See this knife? I'm going to take this knife and I'm going to stick it right in your fucking face and twist it round. Then, I'm going to cut your fucking face off. And I'm going to take it, I'm going to stick it in your slutty little mum's face. I'm going to cut her face off as well. And as for your dad, I'm going to gut him if he ever looks at me again like that. You understand? He's not my dad. Do I give a fuck? Do you understand? Yeah. Fuck off home, rat boy! Oh, don't. Oh, I'll have to get my weekly shop done tomorrow then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I know. not to call the police, but you wouldn't listen. What's happened? What do you think? It's not over. I can't live here anymore. Has that Trav done something? Tell me what happened. What did he do? I can't tell you. It just made things worse. If he's done anything or said anything, he'll get arrested. Why do you think we had that meeting? I don't understand. You both signed it. 
Tell me what happened, or I'll call the police. I can't tell you. Tell me now, or I'm phoning them. He had a knife, Mum. And he friend all of us, not just me. This isn't going away as long as I'm here. Right, well, let me call him then. He'll get arrested. Just calm down. Everything's not okay. Everything's not okay. You're not calling anyone again. They won't do anything and it'll just make things worse for me. He'll kill me next time. Calm down, for Christ's sake. What do you want me to do? We have to move. Don't be ridiculous, Robbie. Well, I'm leaving then. And going where? Out of this shithole. What's going on? He's had another run in with those yobs, and they threatened him with a knife. You called the police then? He won't let me. He's being harassed. They can be arrested for it. He doesn't want to get them involved. So what are we going to do? I don't know. He said he's leaving. I think he's packing now. Well, let him go then. Don't be so horrible. Well, there's nothing else we can do, is there? Maybe you shouldn't have rung him in the first place. Oh, so this is all my fault, is it? Don't be so stupid. You sound just like him. He's been threatened at knife point. And they threatened all of us, not just Robbie. Oh, where's he now? I know what those lads are like, but we can't let him leave. Where's he going to go? Right. I'm going to sort this. How? You'll see. Gavin? I'm not here to fuck about. There's no need to talk to me like that, Gavin. Just so as you know, I heard about what happened today. And I want you to know I haven't called the police this time. I don't know what you're talking about. Shut up. I haven't called the police and I'm not going to from now on. You go near Robbie or my family again. You won't be dealing with the police. You'll be dealing with me. Oh, that's a shame. I was quite looking forward to seeing that naughty little policewoman again. Believe me when I say this is your last warning. Anything else happens and I'm coming after you. And your miserable little friends. <laughs> I'd love to see that. Wouldn't you, Jamie? Yeah, mate. You should have a go now. Yeah. Go on. Have a go now. There ain't enough of you. This ain't over. I'm just getting started. It's finished. And I'm telling you, you got off lightly. This is your last chance. What are you going to do? Because I'll tear your fucking head off. You might have everyone else on this shitty estate running scared. But I know your type. You're nothing. You're just a scumbag. Oh, you think you're a big man. You think you're tough. Bowling about the estate all day, dealing drugs to kids and lowlifes. I mean, I tell you to get a job. But who'd want to employ a worthless piece of shit with a record? Oh, you've upset me now, Gavin. You've cut me deep. I don't know what I'm going to do with myself. Anything else happens, I'm coming after you. Like I said, you old fuck. I'll tear your fucking head off. So come after me. Go on, fuck off then. you been? I've sorted it. Sorted what? What do you think? I went looking for him. Jesus Christ, Gavin. He threatened Robbie with a knife. What the hell were you thinking? He's not going to try anything out in the open in broad daylight. He's not that stupid. So what happened then? What did you say to him? I spoke to him and told him he's finished. And 
You think he's over now, do you? Because you went and spoke to him, he'll just let it go. Come off him, man. What do you expect me to do, eh? I'd have gone to the police and let them deal with it, but you and Robbie wouldn't fucking have it. I wanted to as well, but you saw how scared he was. He doesn't think the police can deal with it. And I'm inclined to agree with him after last time. That's why I've dealt with it. No, you haven't dealt with it. He's not going away just because you've warned him off. These aren't little kids, Gavin. They're criminals. He's done time. And it's not just him, is it? It's all his mates you'll have to deal with. What were you thinking? You'll get yourself killed. You reckon, do you? Well, we'll see what happens if I try anything else. I don't know who you think you are all of a sudden. Oh, I've had enough of this. I'm going out. Going out where? Sisters. Gavin! Alright, Mandy? How's the family? I'm talking to you. Yes, and you're not supposed to. Then why would I want to talk to you anyway? Don't fucking talk to me like that. I'm trying to be civil. I've got a message for Gavin. Oh, well, don't bother. He doesn't want to hear it. We don't want anything to do with you, so stay away from us or I will call the police. <laughs> and now you're threatening me. How do you think Gavin would feel if you went and called the police? I thought he wanted to deal with me all on his own. Take that up with him. Don't be so fucking disrespectful. That's what got Robert, isn't it? <laughs> Get out of my way now or I will call the police. But don't Ooh. come near my son again. You got a mouth on you. You have to do something about that. Oh, you'd attack a woman as well, would you? So I'll just leave it, man. Shut the fuck up! See what happens. You bought this on yourself, you little slut. And you go tell your muggy little husband that I'm waiting for him. Have you got that? Mum? College finished early. Mum? I'll kill him. I'll kill him. Move out of the way, Mum. No, Robbie. I'm gonna call the police. It's gonna get sorted. No, it isn't. You'll get away with it again. Let me help. No, you're staying here. This is what he wants. He wants you to go after him. The police are going to deal with it this time. Just look at my face. Look at my face. You go away with that. Let me out. No, Robbie. Call the police then. Let me out of this fucking house. No. Where's the key? I'll put a window through if you don't let me out of this house now. Calm down. Look at what he's done to you. Why are you acting like this? Because it has to end now. I'll end it. I'll kill him. Robbie, listen to me. I recorded the whole thing on the phone. I'm going to call the police. He's not getting away with it this time. I fucking hate him. I know, but you are not going after him. This is all Gavin's fault. I told him not to do anything. Gavin didn't do this, did he? No. But he threatened him. What do you think was going to happen? He's an idiot. You have to keep your head down around here. I want to get out of this place someday. I know. You can't just threaten people like him and expect to get away with it. What's he playing at? Travin ain't going to let this go. He's got a reputation. He's going to go after Gavin. You wait and see. He's going to get himself killed.
I'm going to call the police. Promise me you'll stay here. I won't go anywhere. Promise? I promise. You rang me. Look, Gavin, I called the police. I recorded the whole thing on my phone. You all right? Yeah, just let them deal with it. I told you I'd deal with it. And you told Trav you'd deal with it as well. I will. Look at her face. This is your fault. You should have left it. Shut up. I'm going out. Gavin, don't be stupid. When did you call them? They'll be here any minute. Don't. Stay here. Make sure she stays here. Are you going after him? After me, then, Gavin. Come on, then, you cunt. <laughs> fucking come on, then. Do it, then, Gavin. I'm gonna fucking bury you. <laughs> <laughs> Nose, man. You fucking fuck your nose, get up! Fuck off, man!
It's over. 